Okay, what's up dear ladies and gentlemen, today we are actually going to build a farm below our base, alright? Farming can get you actually a lot of profit these days, so you know, of course, I'm gonna do it now. By the way, I know that you are thinking, dude, why are there two buildings that's missing? Well, guess so I blew it up. I want to make this side of the island to look really good. I know that the build before is not that bad, but it's bad. It's not that good. It's not, it's not really what I prefer. Look at this. I already did this entire part. This, this, this is going to be great. And I'm going to make a video about this in the next few videos. A week ago, I made a whole pumpkin farm, but you know, it's a fail. So we blew it up. Bro, the explosion took out all this dirt. Everyone can see everything now. No, come on. Oh my God, they are leftovers. These are the remains from the blow. So you know how much they've gone through. Well, to make sure that the construction of the farm don't go wrong, I have a plan, like always. We are going to visit Time Dio. Cause you know, YouTubers, Skyblock YouTubers, they always have a way to make things the most efficient and flawless for them to make content from this breakthrough. So I found this entire pumpkin farm here, and we're gonna measure it block from block. Okay, so it's like four blocks before they have this water. Four. So it's like four dirt and then water. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then another water. And then, you know, it just repeatedly go. So it's like four and an eight and an eight and an eight and an eight. Yeah. Oh, they have two layers of pumpkin. Oh, they're not failing the challenge. They're not failing the challenge at all. They have two layers of pumpkin! What? We have some action that we have to do, but before all that we have to fill up this gap! This is gonna take forever guys! Okay, I, okay, I'm gonna be back. Is it almost there yet? Oh my god. <gasps> okay. Do we do it? Oh my god, it looks actually good. Okay. Okay, before we begin, here are some of the items that you need to make this the most efficient. To start, we need an aspect of the end so that, you know, you can just teleport to places really fast and, and, and that's just really cool. Actually, that's efficient throughout Skyblock, right? Unless you have a Hyperion. Well, if you have a Hyperion, it's most likely that you have a farm considering you're an endgame player. I don't know. And here are the tools, Diamond Shovel, Diamond Pickaxe, and Pumpkin Die. So you can get the uh, better version of it, but you know, these three is good enough just so we can mine out the blocks easier if we make mistakes throughout the process but this is the most important part these are the most important one to make the farm to start they can be bought in this house throughout the hub so if you go up there's anita and she sells these like Hofger tilling which which I have right here and the dirt wand for Jacob's ticket You can get Jacob's ticket from like buying from the bazaar or just obtain them from like, you know The farming competition so so that can so that can easily be obtained But the problem with all of this is that they require a specific metal like bronze metal like bronze metal or anything These things cannot be traded They cannot be put on auction house and they cannot be bought from shop or bazaar trust me There is no way you can't you can't even put them in backpacks. That's how sad it is right now but thanks to Alan, I successfully obtained these because you know he he trusts me with the price. I paid him like a real man. But what's not explained is why. Why are these tools so special? Well, the description says it all. We have the whole grid tilling, which tills a five times five area of farmland at a time. Come on, that's gonna save you so much time. This is the upgraded version and another one is like, I don't know, three times three. That's that's also okay. If you don't want to afford like whole upgraded tilling, I mean, that's also fine. That's that's not that bad. If you don't trust what I say, let's just, let's do an experiment and let's just ruin some of my island floors. Let's look at this. Ooh. This is gonna take a year. This is literally going to take a year. Look at how slow this is. Bruh, it's not even finished. But if you use the whole of Gratillon, boom! <laughs> it's so covered. So that's why it's also efficient. And there's also the Builder's Wand. You, you've seen what it can do. It can literally place like a thousand blocks at a time. Oh, oh, never mind. It's 241. But, but 241 is better than one. And we also need this dirt wand. So, you know, if you if you want to place dirt, it's, it's just through your pocket right there. What, what you do is you just go down one block, one block, one block. But I mean, one block is nothing. But if you combine it with 
But if you combine it with the Builder's Wand, boom, it still works. <laughs> and then we have the Basket of Seeds. The Basket of Seeds is basically like the Builder's Wand. You put the seeds inside and then you have a row of tilted dirt. What you do is just look at the location that you're facing. Boom, it just goes down, all right? There is no there is no limitation to this and it can stretch infinitely if you want. The magical water bucket, it never runs out of water, so you just keep on placing the water. Or what do you want to do? Go to the hub, get like a thousand buckets of water and place it. Hey oh no, just buy this magical water bucket. Just get it from the auction house, it's really efficient. Go down two more blocks. Okay, this is at the this is at the location that I wanted. Okay, these are just the pathways so that we can, you know, just walk through. So from before we've we've learned that it needed like what four four blocks? One. So it's like one, two, three, four, and then we have to go down one. Like this. Yep. And it's eight blocks. And after that it's eight blocks one, eight. Go down one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go down one. Okay, when you have the shape planned out, all you need is literally just, all you need is literally just a builder's wand and you know, just boom. Oh, by the way, you also need the dirt one and also coins in your purse. So, you know, dirt one basically just plays the dirt block and it costs one coin. So that's pretty efficient. You don't need to go to the lobby and keep on buying. You can just do this. Boom. As the money inside my purse just go down. So I have done some tests using this, this type of build. All right. We put water somewhere here. But other than that, we do like this. Mining on come on. All right. This progress will be actually really fast. Okay. And now with that done, let's use the whole of Greater Tillin. As we can see, all of it, literally, all of it is completed. Oh my god. We have the basket of seeds and like I said, it stretches infinitely. So all you have to do is boom. Boom. And it just keeps on going. Ah. These are all pumpkin seeds, by the way. And stop. And stop. Yep. There we go. This is gonna go wrong. Yeah, so basically the coding stops at where things that there's no more tilted dirt. So, you know, even if you modify it, it's still gonna stop at here because, you know, it's already coded. So now we just place it back. And yeah. Here it is. For the rest, we use a magical water bucket. Spam click to the end. And yeah, just like that, this is completed. By the way, by the way, they also have a build of using sea lanterns for the light. So, you know, we're also gonna spend this much coins just on sea lanterns for the build. And then, and then, and then the rest that we have to do is just place this sea lantern. Yeah, and just like that, we are at the end of all of this. So we're just gonna place place the sea lanterns like here. Remove the uh, remove remove the extra seeds. Yeah, just like that. And of course, place the stone slabs on them. So you know it's gonna look way better. Yep. Yeah. And for here, the slabs is going to be easy. You just press that and all the slabs have been filled. Now we just have to expand this entire farm to the end. <laughs> it's going to take some time, I have to be honest with you. So if you want to get both of these efficient tools, just be sure to, you know, get them from someone that you trust so that, you know, they can drop, drop the items to you either to give it to you or to trade with you. So, you know, just get someone that you trust or, or you're going to get scammed for three mil right now. Getting a mystical mushroom soup is also important because, you know, fly makes everything way easier and that's very efficient. The god potion right here from the auction house is also very efficient because it gives like literally all the effects. And one of the most important and two of the most important ones are haste and speed. So either you so either you brew those potions or you buy that. Or, or you buy the god potion. You can also get the god potion from Elizabeth right here in the community. 
in a community center and you can you know trade and you know you can just trade for it for like a thousand and five hundred bits i have six thousand right now you get bits from like booster cookie you can get like a few thousand per booster cookie and it lasts for like and it lasts for like four days well i'm going to complete this far repeatedly using this type of build so i'll see you when it's done and this part is just for design this is for this is for the light and this is where the water is since the water have a specific radius so you know it so you know it basically fertilizes the dirt for it to like grow faster and the light so that it can actually just grow and just have pumpkins so for so for the top part you have some slab any slab is actually just fine as long as you like the design, I guess, because it's more about the design at this point. So there are two stone slab rows. You can use the builder's wand to do this for even more efficiency. You can like uh, builder's wand and then do like, I don't know, one more and two more and then just mine it all out. Because sometimes it's hard to place blocks at, at a really fast speed. It's actually going to disappear or it's not. Or it's not going to place like for some countries i guess i'm not i'm not really sure but i think someone can prove this and after the two stone slab rows you have these two without any slabs so you know you can just take your uh, your pumpkin dicer and just start mining the pumpkin well i'm gonna do a video or something about that in the next few videos so you know stay tuned for that and then we have this part this is like a stone slab row and then there is like a row of sea lanterns actually glowstone or sea lanterns is actually all fine the main point is to have enough light so that so that the seeds around you can just grow or have pumpkin to be honest with you everything below a stone slab except those that are connected to the uh to the sea lantern on the side for design underneath them are all pumpkin seeds that that we need them to grow but under the sea lantern except all of this again they're all watered if we open this, yep, it's just water so that you can fertilize the ground and then the pumpkin can grow even faster. So if you want to build the farm, just remember that there are two stone slab rows right here and then two rows of mining and then one stone slab row and then one row of sea lantern, one row of stone slab row and then two row for pumpkin mining and you know, it just repeats itself on that. I'm going to make another layer of the pumpkin farm right here. So, you know, I can just explain to you about its designs. It's four blocks go down one block, eight blocks go down one block, and then eight blocks and just repeats all the way until the end. And like the star is basically one block down and then eight blocks and then one block down and then four blocks. So basically, if you want to make a second row so that, you know, you can limit the risk of you running out of pumpkins when you're doing the Jacob's, Jacob's farming contest, just make this nice location where you can just fall under and just keep on mining more pumpkins. I placed three blocks in between because you know there's one block down where you can have the water somewhere here and you know if, if it's only one block below it then of course it's going to leak water so I don't think that looks good so I placed another layer of blocks which do not take long considering I have the builder's wand and the dirt wand but if you're fine with the leaking water then just ignore it it's it's not it's it's not much big of a deal it's not going to impact anything Okay, and now we just have to wait until it grows. <laughs> Why do I have co-ops? What's the point of having co-ops? You see other people with co-ops, they complete this farm with much faster efficiency. And we have four people. We can finish this within like, I don't know, 30 minutes. Everyone played their row. Guess what? I do not have co-ops help. I have to finish all of this by myself if i show you around this island trust me every single build is built by me except this tree of course this is all that they do they place emerald blocks and i have to mine them one by one these are all my achievements what did they do they collect the minions they collect minions i'm going broke and, and what do they do when i get the money nothing they collect minions and go back to sleep get him out of my house who built this me <laughs> What did they do? And Lemon Bros is completely cut off from society. Look at his message. Look at his message. Just look at that. He have no one to talk to. But well, that's the pumpkin farm. And you know, that is the most efficient way to build a pumpkin farm without spending like a whole day, two days, three days to make it, of course. And by the way, that pumpkin farm covers the entire island. So all this space below this land, it's all pumpkin farm. I'm serious right now. So not spending more than two hours making that farm. It's pretty good, I have to be honest with you. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next, and you know what? Bye!